Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. You know what? Heroes don't always wear capes, <laughs> but Sister Circle wants to make sure you know the names of the men and women who are working to make a difference in their neighborhood, community, and the world at large. Yes, and that's what We See You is all about, recognizing everyday people doing extraordinary things. Yay! Yeah, you know, just imagine you're driving on the highway, and the next thing you see is the blue lights in your rearview mirror, woo, mm -hmm. woo, woo, and your hands start to sweat, yep. and your heart sinks in your stomach, mm -hmm. and you get pulled over, and now a simple traffic stop turns into a life or death situation in a matter of seconds, mm -hmm. and now the never-ending fear of driving while black takes a toll on you. Well, our next guest wanted to come up with a solution mm. and invented a device to help save black lives during traffic stops, yes. which is amazing. Please welcome the creator of the Not Reaching Pouch, Jackie Carter. Yes. Woo! Yes! Thank you for having me. Oh I my God. Thank you for being First here. of all, thank you for being you. Mm -hmm. Because um, something this small, and let me just show everyone, mm -hmm. something as small as this, oops, as small as this can save lives. Yes. Can uh, save lives. That, that is the climate that we're in, that we had to yes. create something like this to save lives. Jackie, talk, t take us through the moment, um, July 16th, July 2016, when mm -hmm. um, you were inspired to create this pouch because of Belando. violence. Belando Castillo. Yeah. July 6th of 2016, we were celebrating our son's 30th birthday, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and Valerie Castillo lost her son mm. on the very same day. And uh, we just, I just couldn't take it anymore. We've had so much violence that was happening and something as simple as a traffic stop, you should never lose your life. Mm, it's ridiculous. And I said to, I turned to my husband Wayne and said, I gotta do something. I yeah. said, I don't know how big it could be or how small, but I need to find a solution. Mm -hmm. And I embarked in praying uh, daily mm -hmm. for, for a solution. And one day, a few months later, I got up and I turned to my husband and I said, I got it. Mm -hmm. And he was like, you got what? I said, I got it. Mm -hmm. So I etched it out. I took it to a friend of mine at a police station in Coatesville, Sergeant Ollis, worked through it. What makes you nervous? And we came up with the pouch. They should, and they should pass them out at police yes, stations. They really should. Actually, Coatesville Police Department passes them out. Absolutely. Yes, yes, they yes God. Yes, yes, uh, now, you've teamed with his mother, Valerie. Yes. And what is the one thing that she says about the pouch? Uh, the thing that she said that kind of just blew my mind was that if her son had that pouch, he may be alive today. Mm. Because the only thing he did, he did nothing wrong in that traffic stop. He alerted the police mm -hmm. officer, he had a weapon, he was polite, he did everything they said. Mm -hmm. He went to reach for his license mm. and he mm. lost his life. Jeez. He lost his life. Oh, my Lord. Mm. So tell us how the pouch works. Well, it's a plastic pouch, mm -hmm. has a magnetic clip. This clips to your driver's side air vent. That's very important. It has to be on your driver's side air vent. Your license, registration, and insurance goes in this pouch. Mm -hmm. And when an officer approaches your car for a traffic stop, my hands are on the wheel. I'm not reaching. You can get it. Wow. I know that's right. I'm not Ooh. even reaching. Right on this side right, yep, here. right here. So like by the window. Yep. Right by the window. I know that's right. Yeah, it'd, be, it'd be so much. Yeah. You can get it. Like, no, nah, I'm, I'm, yeah. like, I'm not reaching. I'm not reaching. I'm not even moving. You're going to earn all your coins today, yes. Mr. Officer. Yes. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, well, yeah. you know, Selena and I both are raising young black yes. men. And you have a son as well. I do. Who was serving in Afghanistan. Yep. He was a medic. And what mm -hmm. advice would you give to our young sons right now? Well, the advice I gave to him, he was uh, traveling from Wichita, Wichita Falls, Texas, going to Dallas on a back road at night, four deep in a car, he calls and says, Mom, I'm, we just got pulled over. Oh. Heart just stopped. I said, please, take, get off this phone, put your hands up, you know, say yes, sir, yes, ma'am, and, ma and call me back. And about 10 minutes later, he was fine. But he, okay. use your not reaching pouch. Mm -hmm. Keep your mouth shut. That's the biggest thing we have, our motorists arguing with officers. You'll oh. never win. You'll never oh. win. It's a shame we still live yeah. in this climate. It's, it's, it's not oh, going to change absolutely, anytime soon. It's absolutely ridiculous. Ugh. Now, with these pouches, it's not just one size fits all. Mm -hmm. You've created multiple ones, like for people yeah. who are deaf and autistic. Yes. 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 Like my son Kingston. Mm -hmm. My son Kingston is autistic. Talk to us about the variation of why you did that. Why did you do that? The reason why we did that was because motorists were calling me, emailing me, saying we need pouches to say this, we need pouches to say that. They're so nervous, they want everything on a pouch. Mm -hmm. They want the officer to know I'm autistic. We're getting ready to come up with one that says I'm diabetic. 
um, I'm deaf. I have a license to carry yeah, a firearm. A That's my Philando pouch. Mm -hmm. um, it pays homage to him. Um, we need to know that. So when he approaches the car, he already knows everything. And we're getting ready to create an emblem that you can put on the back of your uh, mm -hmm. car. So when he approaches, he already knows it's a badge of cooperation. We're cooperating. Yes. We're working Amazing. together. Yes. Amazing. Yes. This is awesome. Yes. Speaking of working together, you are bridging the gap between law enforcement mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. the black community. Yes. Tell us about your organization. Well, we created the organization, nonprofit organization called the Alliance for Safe Traffic Stops. Mm. So we have a great board of directors. We have uh, former police officers. We have uh, Etan Thomas who's an NBA player, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. now activist. Uh, we're working to bridge the gap by training and education. Mm -hmm. So we'll go out and train communities on the proper procedures of traffic stops. Because my husband says this all the time, Wayne says, we're taught how to drive, but we're not taught how to interact with oh, police. Yes, yes, so we yes. have to teach that. Oh, that's, that's, this is so excellent yes, what you're doing. Yes, this is just amazing. We, we thank you for this necessity, yes, and we thank, thank you. you for being here with thank us. You. Yes, thank, thank you. you for creating this device. This is amazing. Preventing a fatality, and just know we see you, Jackie Carter. Thank yes, you. God. Thank and you. And for more just information so about you. the Not Reaching Pouch and where you can purchase, go to notreaching.com, mm -hmm. and we'll be right back. This is amazing. This is absolutely.